Well, hello, journey friends. Welcome back to this week's Along the Journey. It is good to be back with you as we begin a new section this week. And I'll be right with you. Oh, man. One second. I'll be, I'll be right with you. I forgot. i got to turn that on. One second. I'll be right with you. Be right with you. And then i got to open right there. And then yeah, i got to roll back. One second. One second. <laughs> okay. Hello, journey friends. Again, welcome back to this week's Along the Journey. Well, as you know, um, <laughs> this year, Big Blue has been the backdrop to uh, our Blue Year uh, weekly devotionals. And a few weeks back, I talked about a little bit of the character that she's developed over the past 25 years. Well, uh, she, she did a little bit more character uh, development <laughs> these past few weeks. Uh, just before uh, the holidays a few weeks ago, uh, she lost a door handle, um, an important door handle. The one uh, on this side here, as you see in the picture, just came off, you know, just got old, just wore and uh, just broke off there. Well, and as I was dealing with this small but important broken piece, uh, to Big Blue, you got me thinking about the way that we have many small broken pieces often in our relationships, particularly our marriage relationships, and that those pieces, whether they be an aspect of our communication or our priorities or our understandings and expectations, whether they be the idea of, of various elements of our love, or our respect for one another, uh, they wear at that overall experience. More importantly, they wear at the overall purpose and the expectations for which God has for our marriage. And, and our marriages seem to go on from day or month to year to year, but are, they, are we enjoying the total fulfillment of those marriages? Are we uh, really reaching the potential for which God would have for us to live and to live out our faith and to be the model uh, for uh, himself and the bridegroom and, and the church um, here on this earth? And so as we look into section four, four weeks on uh, pursuing a healthy marriage, we're gonna be looking at the uniquely equal roles of husband and wife within a marriage. And one of the things I always like to make sure to, to, to mention when we talk about this section of journey is that whether you are currently married, whether you would one day hope to be married, uh, whether you are not married or will never be married, this section is for you. Uh, this section calls us to understand what God talks about uh, in, in the healthy marriage um, that He has created, ordained, and gifted us. And it enables us to speak into the lives of others. It enables us to share biblical truth with others. It enables us to apply uh, various elements of relational skills and scriptural and biblical principles with other aspects or other relationships that are not marriage as well. So. You will not uh, leave these four weeks without uh, them being impactful in your lives, regardless of your marital status. So that's right, Blue Year, Section 4, Unit 1, How God Designed Your Spouse. Uh, really an instrumental foundation building uh, unit for preparing us for the four units in total of a healthy marriage um, section. And uh, you know, I'll say right up front as a qualifier, uh, that much of what we're going to be really focusing on is what does Scripture say? You know, this is an aspect of uh, worldly perspectives and worldviews and opinions uh, that can be very uh, divisive in conversation. There are particular opinions and thoughts, and often it has been uh, Scripture that has been misinterpreted and misapplied. And so this is a very important week to build the trust and the understanding of what God desires for our marriages to be and the blessing they are when we fully understand that and live that out. And so uh, the first of three key points this week is in the true section, what does scripture say and what does it not say in regards to the roles of husband and wife and how he has designed us in our marriages? You know, one thing it doesn't say for sure is that uh, men are in any way superior to women. Uh, there is no additional leverage uh, or power uh, that has been given to the husband over the wife. In fact, what it does say is that uh, they are very equal uh, within the standings under God and within the home and the family. 
Uh, there are unique roles, but there is an equal ver uh, worth and an equal value for both husband and wife within the marriage. And so we want to understand that up front. And, and it's, it's really around that that we also want to talk about the idea of the crazy cycle. Uh, you know that, that door handle, uh, the rolling it down, I would forget to turn off the keys and so I'd be stuck. I'd turn the keys back on, have to get outside, then I'd forget the window. So there was this cycle that this little rub, this little broken piece within the whole, uh, the whole system that is Big Blue uh, was, was causing and it was really creating this crazy cycle. And so much of that is at, the, at this understanding as well, is when we don't understand the ideas of love and respect and the needs, the love languages, however you want to put it, uh, that we have for one another, uh, that crazy cycle develops in our marriage. And uh, it's, it's something that's at the core of one of the book recommendations that uh, I always speak to uh, couples in premarital counseling, as well as I believe uh, Journey speaks to it too, is the book Love and Respect that gets to this idea of crazy cycle that we want to avoid. So that's the first point this week. The second is going to be uh, in the equipping section. It's really having that conversation first with yourself, writing out your thoughts, being truthful uh, in, in your, and genuine in your thoughts, and then with your group and being able to share and perhaps with your spouse as well if you're not both in a separate journey group. Uh, what personal experience have you had with misunderstanding, misinterpreting, misapplying God's role for you in your home? What experience have you had with that that has been a negative experience? And then secondly, the, the last question here asks you about the advantages and the disadvantages of applying the biblical principles of God's uh, role for husband and wife in a marriage. And uh, again, whether you're married or not, what do you assume the advantages and disadvantages would be if you, um, again, uh, or a, any couple in a marriage were to live out, uh, completely obey, uh, the instructions and the teachings of God and His Word on husband and wife in a biblical covenant marriage. Really important conversations and questions to have. The third is going to be on mission this week. I really like, you know, um, we talked earlier about developing your testimony. Uh, this is a little bit different exercise. This is in 60 seconds or less. How do you explain to someone why you trust Jesus? How did you come to the point that you would trust Jesus with your life and uh, the security of your eternal uh, future in life and assurance of that. And it's gonna t talk you through uh, reviewing that. It's gonna give you some space to think about it, to scribble that out. It's gonna give you uh, an opportunity to provide a draft version of how you would respond to that question. As First Peter 3 would say, you know, always be prepared to give an answer to anyone who asks you the reason for your hope, okay? You have hope in Jesus, why? Think about that. Uh, be able to fill that out. Three areas of that is really to think about uh, what was your life before you became a Christian? What was your life in, in, in that transition? How did you become a Christian? And then what has your life been since becoming a Christian? Uh, again, don't get too bogged down into 60 seconds. It might be 45, it might be 95, but uh, the aspect is something concise and something genuine, something personal, and something uh, scriptural, something that appeals and that is the reason for your hope. It's a great week uh, to be in Journey, and I trust that it will be for you. I also want to make note that uh, I was given the suggestion of really how do you take some of these weekly devotionals, apply them to your group, and in a way that is not so much, well, I've learned this, and that's one bucket, and then I talk about this as an application, it's another bucket. H how do we merge those buckets uh, so that we're not segmenting our head knowledge from our heart knowledge and our hand and feet knowledge and living it out? And I would suggest one possibility is to simply use some of the examples that I try to incorporate into, this, um, into these weekly devotionals when you're in conversations with others as well. And so just whatever the conversation topic that you're wanting to share with someone is. I hope that's helpful. And I hope that I will see you along the journey and that by the next time that we come along the journey, uh, Big Blue will have a new uh, door handle. Blessings, friends.